Toyota practically invented the lifestyle two-row crossover segment with the original Venza, but its follow-up from a couple of years ago hasn't had quite the same level of success. As a result, Toyota is saying goodbye to the Venza and hello to the Crown Signia, which, as its name suggests, is a crossover slash wagon variant of the high-riding Crown sedan. The Toyota Crown Signia will serve as a sort of spiritual flagship for the automaker's crossover vehicles, so even though it might not be as utilitarian as the Highlander or Grand Highlander, it's definitely going to carry the flag in terms of design and luxury and premium details. For example, this front grille has an unusual tessellated mesh that looks really, really cool. And I love these slats that sit above the headlights, giving it sort of a pop-up vibe from the 1980s. I just think it looks really, really great up front. And then when you move around to the side, the Crown Signia has a very elongated stance with the wheels at the corners and a nice lengthy wheelbase in between them for passenger room. And as you can see, the car is actually pretty low to the ground in terms of roof height. In fact, this could just be recency bias because I was looking at them on Craigslist, but to my eyes, it looks just a little bit like the final generation Toyota Camry wagon of the 1990s. Serving as a crossover variant of the Crown sedan, the tail looks appropriately graceful and streamlined with a full width taillight element. But as you can see right here, this angular taillight that wraps around to the side of the car could have been cribbed straight from the Grand Highlander. So it does call to mind some of the automaker's crossover products. The Signia's tail also leads us to this vehicle's greatest advantage over the Venza it replaces, a much larger cargo area. Every Toyota Crown Signia will come standard with a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and a 12.3 inch center touchscreen display, running the same software that we've come to know and love in Toyota products like the Crown Sedan and the Prius. There's also a lot of clever storage in the interior of the Crown Signia, including this vertical wireless phone charger and a little cubby right here that can accommodate another phone as well as your traditional cup holders and a center armrest cubby. Overall, the interior feels very modern and attractive, and the materials, even on this pre-production show car, are very nice. I really like that the entire center console is nicely padded, the door panels are very attractive, the flowing dashboard design looks wonderful, and there's tons of space front and rear. As with the Venza it replaces, the Toyota Crown Signia comes exclusively with an all-hybrid powertrain. The gas engine under the hood is a 2.5 liter unit, and there's a pair of electric motors front and rear, giving this car through the road all-wheel drive and 243 total system horsepower. What's more, the Crown Signia will be able to tow more than the Venza, up to 2,700 pounds. That might not be horse trailer levels of towing capability, but it should be more than enough to get you a fishing boat and some friends out to the lake. Now, opinions are split on the looks of the Toyota Crown Signia, even among the Motor One staff, but only one of those staffers has a camera pointed at him, and that's me. I think it looks fantastic. I really appreciate the grace and the length and the proportions that Toyota gave the Crown Signia, and I like that it's more of a lifted wagon than a hulking fake SUV wannabe. This is all about style and panache and grace, rather than tricking your friends into thinking you go off-roading every single weekend. The Toyota Crowd Signia will arrive at the automaker's dealership network in the summer of 2024. Pricing has yet to be announced, but you could probably expect it to be a little bit more expensive than the Venza, coming in at about $35,000 to $45,000. I also suspect that Toyota will put the turbocharged hybrid max powertrain with 340 horsepower under the hood of the Signia sometime soon, but the automaker hasn't confirmed that, obviously, so we'll just have to wait and see. For more on the Toyota Crown Signia Hybrid, be sure to click the link in the description for the full debut post, and while you're up there, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can keep on bringing you awesome content like this. You can also find us on all of your favorite social media and let us know how we're doing there. Thanks for watching.